everyone. In this lecture, I will discuss differential equation solutions by substitutions. Well, uh, you all have an idea that uh, we have different types of differential equations, which includes linear equations, exact equations, non-exact differential equations, separable ones. And for each of them, we have a very well-defined method that is used to solve them to solve uh, them and find out the general solution of those differential equations. But uh, there are differential equations uh, that do not fall into any of these categories. And in such case, how you can solve a differential equation, that is basically the purpose of this lecture. In this lecture, I will discuss another technique that is uh, using substitutions. So let's begin. Let's uh, discuss uh, homogeneous equations and uh, as you can see this equation f that depends on tx and ty this we can write it like this which is equal to t alpha into the function f of x and y. Well uh, I can call this equation a homogeneous equation if a condition that is this one is satisfied. Well, uh, let me explain this. Suppose that I have this function f of x, y, which is equal to x square plus y square. And uh, I have to find out whether this equation is a homogeneous equation or not. To prove that, what I will do is, I will, uh, make, I will make this function depend on tx and tx and dy. So what I will do is now I will replace these x and this y with tx and ty respectively. Now as you can see that uh, t square will uh, come out of brackets from both the terms and now we can take this t square common. Now if you relate this equation with this one you can see that alpha is basically 2. Okay, So alpha can be any real number and um, our uh, condition is proved in this con uh, slide that uh, the given function that is x square plus y square is basically a homogeneous function. Now uh, this function uh, is given to us that is f of x y is equal to x square plus y square plus y. Um, tell me and uh, post it below the video that if this function that is given to us it's a homogeneous function or not. Think about it. In exact and non-exact differential equations uh, you all uh, came across these type of differential equations where we have a function of m and function of n. So um, we uh, can come across these equations sometimes and if we try to find out this that uh, what is m of tx and ty and n of tx and ty and if you find them equal to this that is t alpha into function of m xy and t alpha into function of n xy. Now uh, you will notice that if this alpha that is coming in both the uh, coefficients m and n if this is same then we can call such a type of differential equation as homogeneous equations so here is the question x minus y dx plus x dy is equal to zero first of all i will identify function m and uh, function n which is uh, in case of m we have x minus y and in case of n we have n of x y is equal to x. So uh, first we need to find out whether uh, this m and n are of same degree or not. We need to find out that uh, if they are homogeneous functions or not. So for that, uh, I have to replace this x and y with dx and dy. And uh, over here as well, 
in case of n i will replace x and y with dx and dy so when you will replace them you will get in case of m you will get dx minus dy in case of n i will get dx take this t common and i will get dx minus y and for n i will get dx now as you can see that uh, alpha is equal to 1 in both the cases so when degree is same this means that uh, this is a homogeneous differential equation uh, since the degree is same so now we can make the substitution y is equal to ux into the given differential equation and uh, y is equal to ux so let's take a derivative of y as well and i will get uh, dy is equal to u dx plus x du now this substitution of uh, y and dy i will make it in the given equation this one this was given to me the in the uh, the question in this question basically i will substitute dy and y so let's make the substitution x minus ux dx plus x into u dx plus x du is equal to 0. Just uh, open the brackets and simplify it and by simplifying it you will get dx plus x du is equal to 0. Now uh, what I am interested in is in du so i'm getting du is equal to minus 1 over x dx now if you look at this equation uh, you know that in separable we need to integrate both the sides of the equation and then find out the solution so we will apply the same method over here as well i will take uh, integra uh, integral on both sides and this will give me u is equal to minus ln of x plus C. Now, uh, because I uh, made the substitution, y is equal to, I made this substitution, y is equal to ux, and so I need to now substitute back. So this u, which is equal to y over x, it is now, this will now be substituted in this equation. And I will get y over x is equal to minus ln of x plus c. So just rearrange it and you will get this answer y is equal to minus x ln of x plus cx. Now I will discuss another type of differential equation which is uh, popularly known as Bernoulli's equation. And Bernoulli's equation is of this type dy by dx plus b of x y is equal to f of x into y of n. Well, uh, if you notice this equation, then if I substitute n is equal to either 0 or 1, this equation will ultimately become a linear differential equation. And uh, you know that uh, if an equation turns into a linear equation, then the method for solving linear equations exists and you can use that method to solve a linear differential equation. But in case if n is not equal to 0 and 1, then we need to make some substitution in this uh, equation and change it into a linear equation. So that equation becomes linear and we can solve it using the well-defined method. And for that case, when n will not be equal to 0 or 1, we will substitute u is equal to y power 1 minus n and uh, then the equation will become linear and then we will solve. so here is the question given to us and uh, we have to solve it using a uh, linear equation method and first we need to turn this equation into a bernoulli bernoulli's equation so as you can see this uh, question given you just have to divide this equation by x to get this form uh, the form that defines a Bernoulli's equation 
So what I have done is in step one, I need to divide this equation. So in step one, let's divide it. And you will get this dy by dx minus one plus x by x into y is equal to y square. Now this form is exactly what you can see over here. dy by dx, dy by dx. p of x is equal to minus one plus x over x. And we have y along with that. Then it is it should be equal to f of x. Uh, we have no uh, such function over here. Uh, it doesn't matter. Well, we have y of n and which is y square. Well, f of x can be equal to 1. So this equation matches with the Bernoulli's equation. Now, if you see, we have this n is equal to 2. And uh, as I discussed earlier that when n is equal to 2, the equation is not linear. So in order to make it linear, I need to do some uh, I have to make some substitutions. So u is equal to y1 minus n. This is the rule that I have to follow. And this will give me u is equal to y minus 1. Y is equal, u is equal to y power minus 1 or y is equal to u power minus 1. Now, the procedure will be same that we followed uh, in the previous example. I need to find out uh, dy by dx because I have to make substitutions in the original equation. So find out dy by dx and uh, just like this. Now I have to make substitution y is equal to u power minus 1. du by dx uh, we, uh, we will keep it over here. Now you will get dy by dx is equal to minus u power minus 2 into du by dx. So we have two things with us, dy by dx and y is equal to u power minus 1. So let's make the substitution. I will substitute this 2 in 1. As you can see, this was 1. Once I have, uh, I'm done with this uh, substitution, I will get this equation 3. Now equation 3 needs to be uh, divided by u power minus 2 and the reason is that I have to turn this equation into a linear equation and for that purpose I need to divide it by u power minus 2 and once I have divided it I will get this equation. Now you can see the general form of the linear equation is also given to us over here. If you compare this equation with this equation you can relate it easily. So this is a linear equation. Now I can make use of the method uh, which requires integrating factor because linear equations are solved using integrating factors. So to find it out, I need if I first need to find out p of x. Well, in this case, p of x is equal to 1 plus x by x. So I, uh, I'm not uh, mentioning the procedure over here that is used for linear equations. That is a prerequisite. So Let's just find out the integrating factor exponential with integral of p of x into dx. Substitute this p of x over here. Find out and this is the integrating factor that we will get. Now what I need to do is, as uh, you all remember from the method of uh, linear equations, that you need to follow a rule. The rule says that uh, the left hand side of the differential equation, the resulting equation should be equal to the derivative of the integrating factor into y. So I will do uh, that. Apply uh, this equation for the resulting equation with the integrating factor 
and once I have multiplied check the rule that uh, we follow the derivative of the integrating factor into u should be equal to this that is the left hand side of the differential equation and uh, because left hand side is equal to minus e power x into x so I will sub make this substitution and after the words I will take the integral of both the sides now as you can see over here when you will take the integral then you have to solve this part so I have solved uh, this part over here just uh, apply this method and you will uh, find out the integral and that is equal to x e power x minus e x plus c now I will uh, do this substitution in the previous equation and I will get this equa equation and now uh, I need to write this equation so that I have a u on the left hand side and all the other terms on the right hand side and uh, once I'm done with that, you know that uh, earlier you substituted y with u. So now I need to put back y again. So y, uh, u is equal to y power minus 1. So substitute it back and you will get this result. So this is the answer. And uh, if you notice, I have uh, this, replaced this minus sign with plus over here. This doesn't matter because C can be negative as well. So here I have attached the screenshot so that uh, you can uh, take a look on the solution as a whole. This was question number one. And uh, this, uh, this is question number two that uh, we did. And here is the second part. I hope everything is clear. If you have any queries, you can post it over here. Thank you.